today I'm getting married. Um, today is my wedding day. I'm marrying my best friend, the love of my life, and the king. I'm nervous, and I know why. Uh, it's just that feeling. It's that time. Anticipation. We met through, ironically, um, he was needing, I'm in a, we're in the same business fields. We're both entrepreneurs. And um, he was in need of assistance uh, because this was new to him. The business was new to him. And I actually was called out by one of our friends who were in the wedding, as well as a state official uh, who's one of our auditors and asked me, could I go and assist him with the business? And I said, well, why not? Sure. Someone helped me get to this point, so why not help him? You know, some people are just right there when you need them the most. And um, I have been doing professionally, you know, career-wise, uh, claims and litigation for the past 35 plus years. Uh, and what a grind that was. Um, but, I, but I also knew that I had a business to run, and at the time I had a three-year-old to raise, three-year-old son. And so, um, listen, uh, my best man's wife, uh, my accountant, uh, and uh, you know, they got together and they said, look, we need to save this business, right? So um, they thought about the best person that they could contact to, 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 to add some credibility to help them save the business, and that's, that's my fiance. Beautiful, nice person. At that particular time, we had no inkling of what our relationship was gonna blow up to. So she was just showing up at my business, working countless hours, day and night on the weekends, just reviewing various binders and files and papers and documents, making sure all the dot, all the I's were, were dotted, all the T's were crossed, and uh, just training me and mentoring me and guiding me, guiding me along, right? So just like every guy, you know, I'm appreciating that type of assistance and credibility that she was adding to the table. But, but at the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm observing how attractive this woman is. You know, extra attractive because she's attractive because of the type of person and the credibility that she was bringing to the table. And, and there's nothing that says liability about her, but there's everything that says an asset, right? She's not taking anything away from me, but she's, she adds value. That's why I love this woman. She adds value, right? And so I, I saw that value. I fell in love with that value. And I want to be around that value, right? So does my son. He wants to be around that value too. And he, you know, listen, he was instrumental in helping me, helping daddy make this decision, you know, because he was, he was schooling her, he was grilling her. You know, one of the things that, and this is true, uh, that he asked her was, do you love my daddy? And uh, she was tickled pink behind that. And he said to her, I want to know because I love my daddy. So you see, he felt that love. Didn't you feel that love? He felt that love. So I assisted him and then a year later, he asked me out on a date, and the date led to dating for two and a half years, and last year, September 30th, 2018, was my 48th birthday, and he proposed. And here we are, the long journey. Newton is such a great guy. Um, when I'm on 20, he's on one. So he, when I'm on 20, he keeps me and brings me to one. Uh, very caring, loving, uh, just all right out nice. Respectable, very respectable, and very caring person. Something of wanting for a long time. Oh, Lord, what did this boy buy from Ramses? Hey, video, video. Huh? You're doing a video. Oh, this you get? They got some information. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's what I wanted. My gift ain't top his. I'm sorry. <laughs> we did talk about marriage, and um, 
we had stated that the marriage was not going to be a surprise. It was actually going to be mutual where we know it was going to happen, just dinner and half, it was going to happen and we we're going to plan it. But of course, uh, men do it their way and his thoughts were a surprise. So we went out to eat um, with one of our couples who are in his wedding, which is one of his friends is his best man. We went out to dinner with them on my birthday and we went out to the Davenport Lounge at the Ritz Carlton. And um, he was, I was like, um, what well, did you buy me a gift? Because I wanted to let you know what I wanted. And uh, he said, well, what was that? I said, well, I wanted a, the new Gucci belt. He said, well, you waited entirely too late because of the fact that um, I've already gotten what I wanted you to have. And I said, okay. I made a decision. Uh, it was filled with creativity and impromptuness. We were at, uh, we were in the, uh, what's, what's, what's the name of the hotel? It's on, it's, uh, it's, we was at the Ritz Carlton. And inside the Ritz Carlton is the Davenport's Lounge. Real classy journey. Straight up New Orleans jazz, right? And uh, I had my best man with me at the time, along with his wife. You know, that couple is, is so precious. And uh, they all about impromptu stuff, you know, surprises. So I knew it would work. And uh, I had already had the ring. Uh, my bride-to-be didn't even know it. She thought it was a, a birthday celebration, like I said, right? And so the owner of the jazz band said, I need uh, Mr. Newton Thomas to the stage. And I said, I said, I am going to kill him if he's singing happy birthday to me. So when he got up there and he was like, oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, a very special friend's birthday. And he had uh, three bags lined up, white bags. And I was like, if this dude is singing happy birthday to me in front of all these people, I'm going to kill him. So listen, I walked to the stage, right? Uh, using the same bravery then that I'm using in front of you guys right now, unafraid. So uh, he gave me the microphone. He goes, Joe show, take it away. So uh, I found myself in the middle of the show with lots of people in an audience that came to hear Mr. Davenport, and unbeknownst to them, they were there to see me too, right? That's just how magical it was. So I told you before that I had taken the time to pick out all these wonderful gifts that told the story about our relationship. I had uh, Tylenol for all the headaches I caused her. I had an apple, because I wanted her to know she was the apple of my eye. And then I had this, uh, this beautiful, right, uh, three plus carat diamond ring that I was gonna, you know, mesmerize her with. And when you open that box in this dark room, the light came on, right? And then I heard a laugh in the audience and I noticed it was Mel. So I was like, hmm, something's going on here. So he said, well, uh, baby, your last gift is very important gift, but I'm allow you to open it and take your time. So I opened it. And they were dun da dun da dun da dun da dun da dun da dun Still, it never dawned on me that he was going to be doing this because we had talked about if we would do it, that it wouldn't be a surprise. So when I opened the ring, I opened the box, it was a light and the ring was sitting in the box. And I almost literally passed out. <laughs> but it was very emotional. Stephanie, you know that I love you. And uh, that has been more than just limp sync. You know that my actions have spoken louder than my words. And so, to, uh, having said all that, uh, you know that I've taken the, the necessary steps to get us here. This is our wedding day. I love you, River loves you. Let's make a family. Let's make a wonderful family journey out of what we're doing. Newton, thank you for coming into my life and making me more happy than I've already made myself and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you.